Old Style Classics Baseball Cards. I'm Robert and thanks for joining me on June 13th, 2024 and special day. Uh, I took off today. It's Thursday. It's 5.30 p.m. but you probably won't see this video till sometime down the line unless we get something really good out of here. So today I uh, got out of the house and wanted to go to the card shop but I had to stop by this battery shop and where they sell bulbs and stuff because we can't find a bulb for this lamp we have in here and I found the lamp bulbs got a couple and it's not working so I don't know if we got to reconnect the elixir to it unplug it or plug it back in so I don't know what's going on here check the other bulbs I guess anywho so I picked that up and I was looking for a battery for the scanner I have but they didn't have it so I'll just have to get that off of um, Amazon. I was going to head to the card shop and I thought, oh, it's a special occasion. So I went over to Nothing But Cakes to get my free cake today. So I picked up a couple so that me and my wife can have that later. And then I was trying to get a watch battery for this watch that I had for like nine months and the battery stopped. I think I got this for my one of my last few birthdays or Christmas. But, so I had to drive over, got the watch battery replaced, went into the hardware store, had to get some paint for work, and then I went to the card shop and I went through their bargain bin and got this stuff, and so I got like eight packs of that Bill Rizzuto, which I really liked, a couple more soccer, looking for now and again, some loose oddball cards, and another one of these Washingtons. Why not? So... All right, so let's get to it. So I think what we'll do is we'll start here and then here and then we'll get to the baseball. And I'll release this video depending on um, if I get anything good or not. If it's good enough to show something on a video right away, maybe I'll put that out. But since I've been on an oddball kick lately, I've picked up a few oddballs. So um, it's not part of my MSA oddball run, but... I'll add these to the other cards that they go with um, and do an episode specifically for this stuff. So, like I have a bunch of post serial stuff and that's going to take a video or multiple videos to get through a lot of that post stuff. So there's a Topps post uh, cards and these are 20... What is that? 20 out 11 or something like that? Alright, let's see. Where's my... Uh, let's get the magnifying glass people out here. 2001, sorry. So 2001, I was going to say 2011 seems a little late for oddball cards. Hey everybody, if you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, leaving comments. Um, sharing this stuff with other people who like oddball stuff like me. It's Frank Robinson. That's the post-2001 product issue. Nice stuff. And I had another one there, and that's Mike Schmidt. So, why not? Pick that up. I love oddball cards, and that was a really nice looking set. But I'll save my comments for the other video. Then, uh, these are very Allen and Ginter-like. And pick this one up for a dollar. But um, I, I like these. They're cool. I just I never buy this stuff because it's really expensive. But they had the museum collection, and that is the Warren Span. And what does that say? Canvas collection. So that's a beautiful card. Thick stock. Um, very Allen and Ginter like to me. And you know I like Allen and Ginter, and I love um, what do you call it? Um, old-fashioned cards but this one Warren Spann congratulations you received the canvas collection reproduction from 2015 museum collection baseball so um, this is 2015 so uh, that, it's got a glossy back so that I'm not a super fan of but I know the museum collection I think is pretty one of their higher-end sets and that's very Allen & Ginter like so I like that and yeah, you gotta love Warren Spahn there. One of the greatest left-handed pitchers of all time, so that's pretty sweet. 
So I'll have to throw that in with some other rando cards since I don't have like museum collection. So um, let's put them in here so that the front shows a little better. Yeah, it's beautiful car, beautiful set. Um, so I like that. That's right up my alley. And Warren Spahn, uh, Milwaukee there. All right, a couple more oddball, well, one more oddball card. And I don't think I had this one is the only reason I got it. I mean, I have a bunch of these, but I don't think I have this specific card. So, yeah, that's it in there. So I picked up the Roger Clemens uh, Denny's card. You know, Denny's had a lot of cards. And the Denny's cards aren't my favorite oddball set. They're really hard to see often. And then sometimes they're like the sports flicks or the holograms and stuff like that. You really can't see. But this one's kind of cool. It's very, um, kind of like those early Kellogg's cards from like 70s. And that's done by Pinnacle. So at least this card is not stuck to some other card like most Pinnacle cards. But still, I love oddball cards. And so see, you got the hologram. And that's where you get a lot of cards that are very much completely like that from Denny's and I like the Denny's stuff but they just don't present that well that's that's my biggest problem with the Denny's cards they've had multiple manufacturers over the years I believe but that's still a cool looking one these, these ones are nice because you can really see it uh, I don't know if they would um, crack or anything like the Kellogg's cards but that'll be coming soon to an episode on this season of 20 on the 2024 season of old style classics baseball cards we will in the plans you know the old uh, producer and manager here or um, Denny's collection is also on the agenda for this season on old style classics baseball cards all right, so let's get to some not old style classic baseball cards, but old style Washington Chronicles 22, 2022 historic hysterical historic autographs, uh, the George Washington stuff, and uh, so this is one of those bonus packs. I was like, yeah, why not? I'll get at least one more. I mean, this stuff's neat. They get they got some good images. It's Kind of like these Phil Rizzuto cards, except with American history. Phil Rizzuto cards is like an homage to, um, you know, like the nostalgic baseball imagery and stuff like that. And this is much like the back of money, which is a uh, nostalgic American history and artwork and stuff like that and people. So let's just get to it, folks. Sari Carroll Fairfax. I used to live on a street, Fairfax. So, give a second to look at those if you want to pause your video to read those. Hopefully, that'll come through. I'm not going to read them because this will take too long. We're already eight minutes in, folks. All right, here we go. There's one of these um, battles, it looks like. What is that? Fort Duquesne. So, something happened at Fort Duquesne. That sounds like something in Canada but I know it's Duquesne University so it must be over there yeah Ohio Valley all right read about that mostly Revolutionary War time stuff all right who do we got here Henry Lee all right so there's Henry Lee pulling off the uh, Napoleonic look there Lived from 1756 to 1818, a.k.a. Lighthouse Harry. Calvary men there for George Washington and them guys. All right, read that. Learn a little more U.S. history. So, yeah, I went to the card shop after doing all that stuff and figured out by myself a little um, birthday um, gift to open some cards and I don't have any oddballs ready to go right now so I feel like opening these since I just got some and it's my big day so I want to open some cards you know what I like to do on my birthday when I'm sitting at home by myself 
I like to open and then look at some cards. And baseball cards to boot coming up. Thomas Paine. Read that. I'll help you out on Jeopardy at some point in time. Looks like he was an agitator for, you know, would be an agitator to the English. All right, we've got a special card coming after this, so I'm going to save that for the last. All right, Winter Encampment at Valley Forge. I think that's where they got the blankets with the smallpox and all that, so they can be immune, immunized, so to speak. I was reading that um, Brad Meltz, I actually have it. Brad Meltzer's The Washington, George Washington book. It's kind of a novel, but biographical novel, not, you know, less like, like a textbook, but more like a reading a novel, but actual real history, and that one's actually signed, so if you've ever seen on History Channel, Brad Meltzer's uh, TV show, where they um, investigate all these different things, and, you know, like, Roswell or stuff like that so he's got his own TV show and he wrote that book and I got it autographed so, or I bought it autographed so that's pretty cool so there you go Washington I believe Valley Forge all right taking the oath of office there first inauguration there election of 1788 so we didn't have a president till then 1789 I think so, country may start in 1776, but there's the uh, story about that. He beat out 10 other candidates for the job. I didn't know that. Wait a second, let me see and read this again. It was the only presidential election to straddle two years. John Adams was elected as the first vice president. Oh. So, yeah, nobody voted, you know, nobody ran against him. There we go. Unanimously elected president. United States in 1788 election. Vote was held in December 15th, 1780, to January 10th. So they even had about three weeks. So there you go. So he had a two-year term, apparently. Huh. Who knew? Probably everybody but me. All right, then we got this Slave Trade Act of 1794. So there's your history, folks. Not good. Um, guess that was the first step towards prohibiting it, maybe. All right, and then Washington's Monument. You ever watch a uh, Futurama where they're in Washington and they got the Washington Monument? And then the Bill Clinton monuments, just like this, but bigger. <laughs> it's stupid. Uh, so funny. Love me some Futurama. All right, so there you can read about that. And our special card is a die cut. Uh, something, I'm not sure what this is all about, but die cut of some mountain there. I don't know what those little uh, sl slots are for. Maybe set this up somewhere. All right, I don't know what this is all about. So let's find out together. Mount Washington, okay. Uh, for information on this mountain, scan the code with your device camera. Okay. I don't know if that's kind of like a diorama, diarrhea, a cha cha cha. That's interesting. That's kind of neat. All right, folks. So that's cool. All right, so now I'm going to do the soccer cards because why you ask if you're not into soccer as much? The hobby packs of this UEFA European Football Association or whatever. You can get Allen and Ginter 2024 Allen and Ginter or 2023 whatever. Allen and Ginter autograph cards are possible. A little um, subset insert uh, autograph only so I did purchase one off of eBay so but that I can have a different kind of Alan Ginter card that they make because that's what I do 
trying to get a different kind of Alan and Ginter that they've made, all the different kind of sets and subsets, and this is one of them that you can't get in regular Allen and Ginter, so um, they have a hobby box there that you can buy packs from. Pretty expensive, well, yeah, pretty expensive, but probably cost me five fifty a pack or something. But soccer has always got return value on it. But so I'll let you guys look at those. I'm not gonna try to read some of these names if I can't. Chaka Trador, tri something. He's a rookie, so you can read that there. My New Mexico United and the USL are just on fire, people. They're just killing it. I think they've only lost one game and have like one tie, and the rest are all wins. Ramos Haldon, maybe two ties, something like that. All right. Federico Valverde. Federico Valverde. All right. All right, from Uruguay. Wow. <clears throat> I want to pause you guys for a second so I can take a drink. All right, thank you, folks. All right, we have um, this guy, Rafa Silva. So, any of you soccer fans out there, uh, see this? You know, you notice something good? Let me know. All right, Danilo, trying to be a one-name player, like Ichiro. Paulo Dybala. All right, and the last card from this pack, Cream Benzema. That's uh, some kind of variation there. So let's see if we see any numbering here. I don't see any there. Some kind of insert set, folks, or something. Milestone hat trick. Historic hat trick, so some kind of insert set there. All right, so there we go. All right, we'll do this one, one more pack. I only bought two of these, so um, had I not got one off of eBay, maybe I would have considered a hobby box. I have both opened a blaster. Or two of these and um, you know but thank God for eBay because I don't really want to buy a bunch of these I like soccer but I don't collect soccer it's kind of like football or basketball I don't really collect it um, my hearts with baseball and maybe some other stuff like entertainment James Bond or Star Wars and that kind of stuff but Soccer and F1 are pretty hot out there in the real uh, world, not just America. So, Thomas Mueller, Mueller, not Bueller, but Mueller. I think I when we were, used to work, uh, used to fuel planes um, like Southwest and American Airlines and. Frontier and United and Delta and all that at the airport in Albuquerque and I think the guys that ran it were Mueller and Boy, it was a cool job high stress because planes are always running late and then that screws up your whole schedule And if you cause a plane to be late, it's like $1,000 per minute they charge the company and It's pretty stressful trying to get in there up against the wing with them dudes doing the luggage and all that but super cool being up by them planes and all that stuff and getting to go up and down stairs and do all that but the pay was horrible people the pay was just horrible and the turnover was constant we had like a new guy starting every week and they wanted you to train them and I'm like I'm not getting paid for this and and plus you're in a union you're in a union and you're paying them like five cents an hour what I figured and you weren't they were skipping your breaks you weren't getting lunch and you were paid very very little 
So cool job to have for just a little bit of little while, but not a good job if you were trying to make any money. But when you're young, you know, have the experience. Enjoy that because I love planes. Always wanted to be a pilot uh, until I realized how bad I was at math and that was never going to happen. Anyhow, um, all right. Um, yeah, the pay was not good, people. That's that's when I decided to leave Albuquerque. I was going to move to Chicago. My friend met me up there because he's from Chicago too, but lived in Miami or Fort Lauderdale. We had a blast in Chicago. I wanted to go back home, get a job, work for a while, get, save up some money to move back. And then he was up there visiting. Oh, you should come down and stay with us in Florida. You'll love it. All right, I'll give it a try. You could stay with us for free. Went down there and hated it. Just too hot, too, yeah, couldn't wait. Ooh, went back to New Mexico. Wanted to go back to Chicago, but my grandpa talked me into going to school. That's what I did, went to school, until I met my wife. Re-met her, I should say, and then came to California. So there's my story, folks. I guess the story started in Chicago. Lived there, and then before the first grade, we moved to New Mexico. But anyhow, um, that was why, that was the point that I was done with Albuquerque at the time because I was making no money. I was just growing further and further behind. Couldn't barely pay my rent. Car problems and having to replace the tires all the time because it was out of, couldn't get it um, aligned right. And things were just going downhill and I just needed to change. Well... I knew I didn't want to be here, so I came back here and wanted to go there, but was talked into staying there, and it worked out for me, so, all right, long story short, there you go, people, so cool, check this out, we got a gold, future stars, Jamie Bindi Gittins, Bino Gittins, infielder, and that's one of those uh, cup cards there, so it's got to be numbered right. That shiny of foil, gold, and it's not numbered. Wow, that's hard to believe. I mean, it, it's got the little soccer balls, hologram. So that's hard to believe, folks. That is not a numbered card. It's it's kind of the same. It's it's like a step up from uh, Stars of MLB from Flagship, which just came out today, Series Two, 2024. But this is just a little bit better quality, it feels like to me. And that's kind of shocking to me that that's not numbered. But apparently something on this next card said congratulations. So let's see what this is all about, folks. We'll do this together. And it looks like we got, oh, we got a relic. So, all right, that's cool. So not an Alan Ginter autograph card, but at least we got a hit. So that gold card's pretty nice, and this looks like some kind of purple. So I don't know if they're all like that, or if that's a variation. Pierre Kalulu for AC Milan there in Spain. All right, let's see. Yeah, it is numbered. Cool, check that out. So some kind of variation on the relics, which don't see much anymore. Um, usually it's just you get a relic is a relic. But look at that, 24 of 299, folks. Congratulations, you received a Superstar Relic Card from Topps UEFA Club Competitions 23-24. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so what is he, uh, position does he play? You definitely want a forward, center, or something like that. Would be best, and that's cool that it's, once again, Topps done a good job this last, uh, year with giving you some different color um, relics instead of just plain white or gray but uh, at least in Allen and Ginter they did a good job I've, I've seen like Heritage and Flagship which are still pretty bland but that's sweet so we did get something cool out of this and uh, so let's pause this I'm going to look it up real quick and see what they say then we'll wrap this video up and then we'll do some Phil Rizzuto's on another video all right, folks, thanks for holding on there. So apparently um, anywhere from 35 somebody's asking, to $10 for the same number to $2.99. So depending on what somebody wants to pay, 
Um, 20 bucks. I, I would say it's probably a $20 card. Um, it's autographs only like 30 bucks. So yeah, they got some different colors. So 50, 20, 20. And this guy's only got it for two dollars, but that could be an auction price, so I like starting bid. So, you know, so let's call it fifteen to twenty-five dollar card in that ballpark. Um oops. Alright, so it says he's a twenty-four year old um French player. Um so he's yeah, his birthday just passed on June fifth. Uh, he's a French professional footballer who plays defender for Series A club AC Milan. All right, so um, defender is probably not the best to get, you know, kind of like getting a pitcher maybe, but he's young, so he's got a lot of time to um, establish himself as a good player, at least, you know, let's say like 10, 12 years still. Um, so yeah, he's, he's got the potential that at least he's young. He's not like some dude, um, you know, in his last season who's been mediocre. So that's cool. So I think that's my first soccer relic ever. And that's a pretty nice card. And then this is a pretty sweet card with those little football holograms in there. The little logo for that league. So, pretty sweet stuff, folks. All right, no Allen and Ginters, but hey, not bad. I'll take it. You know, I probably got my money's money back. All right, hey, that's the wife, folks, I think. Unless one of them presidents. So, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching Old Style Classic Soccer Cards. New Style Soccer Cards.